Hey, welcome back to Doodle Heaven, Texas. We're glad you're here at our channel. This is our fourth video, so if you have not seen the other three, go and check them out. Go check out our page at doodleheaventexas.com. Same thing on Facebook and Instagram for more information about us. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see our other videos. In our past videos, we talk about what on earth is an F1 and an F1B and what does that mean? We talk about temperament. We also talk about mini doodles and what it takes to breed a mini doodle. Today, we're talking about what is all the hype about doodles. They have been really hot in the market for a long time and they just keep getting hotter. Why? Why? You have to ask yourself, what is the reason for this? I believe there's two reasons. Number one, allergies. If you have allergies, whether it ranges from just itching eyes or skin, or you have an asthma reaction, or swelling eyes, that can be a very big deal in what type of dog you have. These dogs can provide the right type of fur, which ultimately is the right type of dander for the dog that you need, if bred properly. So that's the number one reason people seek a doodle of some type. Second reason, shedding. Let's be honest, we have busy lifestyles. If you've got kids, you've gotta to go to soccer, you've gotta cook dinner, you, you may work, you have so many things and you want a dog to be a part of your life and a part of your kids' lives. But shedding is a problem. It means extra cleaning, it means your clothes have fur all over it, it means your furniture has fur, and there's dust bunnies with fur everywhere. People just don't want to deal with a lot of shedding. These dogs, again, if bred properly, can provide that feature as well. I didn't mention a third reason, but temperament. Most doodles are two incredible dogs put together. The standard poodle that is loyal and calm and very intuitive to your needs. And then the other ones, whether it's the golden retriever that's the best friend kind of dog, or an Aussie Doodle that is very attentive to children. So temperament can be a huge thing when getting one of these dogs as your best friend. Now here's a term that I, I don't like and yet I think it does have value in what it truly means. But a lot of people get very bothered by the term designer dog. It sounds a little bougie, a little uppity, but they were designed for a very specific purpose. To have the temperament to provide for a service dog and yet for those who have allergies and are allergic to the dander, the fur of the dog. Hang tight in the video because we're going to be showing you our one week old mini doodles right alongside our four week old medium doodles. You will not be able to stand the cuteness of these puppies and how much they've grown just since the last video. Snooze alert, just a little history. Doodles were first bred in the late 1970s, early 80s as a guide dog for a woman who needed a service dog, but her husband was allergic. So a man bred the very first Labradoodle. That's where the doodle craze began. But at first, he did not get a lot of followers wondering why he was mixing these breeds for a dog. But soon it took off and the craze began. What is all the hype about doodles? Make sure to like and subscribe.
people choose a doodle based on maybe a childhood dog. They had a golden retriever, so they choose the golden doodle. Or they had a lab, they choose the lab or doodle. Many people choose because of color and some of the traits. I mean, there's golden doodles, there's labradoodles, there's Aussie doodles, there's sheep doodles, there's cockapoos, snoodles, there's even newfie poos. Yeah, there's such a thing, a newfie poo. It's not what my dog does in the morning. Newfie poo, Newfoundland and a poodle. Tons of doodles. Many of them have different traits, different colors. So, sky's the limit for what you choose to do. This is Georgia. Georgia is a sheep -a doodle She's a black and white party sheep -a doodle which is pretty common of the sheep -a doodles but you can get that in a golden doodle or a labradoodle as well. Those color combinations. Under me here, trying to get away from the sun, is an Aussie doodle. She has one blue eye and one gold eye. She's an amazing dog. She's super hot right now, which I am too. Okay, if you Google what's the best doodle, I decided to do a search of this. Golden Doodle comes up as the number one doodle. It's the most commonly known in most places, although that can be different in different areas. If you like these videos, what should they do, Scarlett? Like and subscribe. You can watch the puppies each week, how much they grow, developmentally, what they're doing. We'd love to have you join this journey with us. <laughs> also, if you Google calmest doodle, golden doodle comes up again. When you look up best dogs all together, the number one dog is a border collie. Number two, standard poodle. Number four, golden retriever. Number six, cheap dog. And number eight, oh goodness, is that it? Yeah, number seven was Doberman. Number eight, Lab. Those are some of the top doodles there are. But there's even Denoodles, Denoodles. Great Dane and a Poodle. Who knew? What's the smallest doodle? Again, Golden Doodle has been bred to get the smallest doodle. Smartest Doodle, there's a lot of different, different variations of that, but Golden Doodle pulls up most of the time as one of the smarter doodles. Now, we can argue about any one of those things because everyone has the smartest doodle, and chances are they probably do. So, how do people handle buying a designer dog, or a mutt as some call it, a mixed breed dog? Why? Well, we talked about those reasons before with the, the properties of shedding and the allergies. And has this hurt or helped the rescue world? I am very much for rescue. But with my husband's allergies, it's not an option to take a guess on what type of dander the dog has. So how has it helped? It's actually helped tremendously because when people see these dogs and love them, they realize they might be able to find another mix of dogs in a shelter or through a rescue. So it's actually helped that market. If you can rescue, I highly recommend it. You can find doodles, but you may find another mix that's just amazing that you love. If allergies are not the problem and you need to ensure the right kind of dander. As promised, we're updating you on our medium golden doodles. These babies will turn four weeks. We now can hear and see a little bit of distance. We're up on all fours. We're eating puppy mush and we are doing so great. Also, just for a bonus, our one week old mini doodles. We still have our legs spread out because we kind of swim to mom so those tend to spread out pretty quickly. These are minis. They will weigh between 15 and 25 pounds. These will weigh from 40 to 60 pounds. This one has a sweet little marking right here, like our original dog, Diamond. Big difference in size, big difference in how they look. Again, the fur looks straight. Well, the fur starts to come in in about four weeks, and that's when we start to get our wave and our curl. But right now, we don't have as much. If you like this video, be sure and like and subscribe. It's amazing how much growth occurs with a puppy each week. Follow this journey with us as you watch these puppies get to eight weeks and then go home. And these puppies the same thing as we journey through life with our doodles.
We'd love to see you. Like and subscribe. Thank you.